In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a color palette for uh, a creative project, a digital creative project. Um, in this particular example, I'm going to be creating um, some Patreon tier graphics here. It's a, a, a football seasiders podcast website that I build, I'm building. Um, Close the tangerine. So I'm going to create a, a tangerine based color theme to support these. Um, I'm going to create some tier images for these uh, tiers. So that's what it's going to be for. So I've I've created the um, artboards and sketch to hold these graphics. And now I'm going to show you how to create a color scheme, color palette, using this website, colors.co. It's a, a great resource. It's free. And I'm going to show you how to how I go the process how I go about creating a color palette. So let's get going. So I'll start the generator. Right, as you can see here, I'll bring, it out, bring it out a bit. So we've got um, all these color palettes built in. See if I'm hitting space bar. Um, it generates them for you, um, which is great. So I want to create a completely custom one. So the main color I want to use is Blackpool's home color, which is um, tangerine. It's like a deep orange. So I'm going to show you the process why I'm going to create one. So the main color, so the primary color we want is um, the tangerine in Blackpool's shirt, which is there. Now I want to pull out the hex code from this image and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you go to any web browser, um, any any kind of image that you want to sample colors from. So I'm going to go for the color scheme I want is Blackpool's um, home kit with the away kit colors um, with a dark color um, and, a, and a white. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll just close Web Inspector now. I'll show you how to pull out the primary color first. So you go this is on a Mac, so you go Tools, uh, Developer Tools, there it is. Or you can do Option, Command, I, toggle it on and off. I use this. Once you get used to using shortcuts, you'll never go back. So, how do I get the orange from there? In this bit here, you click Elements, you go to the Color tab, and you type Color. You can do it Background Color anyone, and then you can see this Color setting there, so that's a hex code. So you click on the icon there, the color icon, you see an eyedropper, sorry, a uh, color picker tool, click on it, and it was already on. Right, now I'm going over uh, Nathan D'Alfonso there, so I want to pick out the main tangerine, see that crosshair there that's over his chest. Um, there's a lot of shadows in that picture, so I want to want to pick out, Is that a, that's maybe a tad too deep, but we can always change that later. So that's a good starting point. So I'm going to copy this, Control C, Command C on a Mac. And I'm going to go into Cooler. I'll go Edit there. This is going to be my primary color. And I'm going to lock that in place. So if you, you sometimes I press it twice for some weird reason. And if you see now, when I press space bar, it's locked. So that's my primary color done. We can always go in and tweak these later. So let's get let's get these two blues from the away kit. So again, click in that. It's already selected. The color picker selected. And let's hover over this uh, darker blue. That was the purpley blue. Let's grab that. Yep. Drop that there. Command C, Control C if you're on Windows. And let's bring this into this column here. Paste, lock it in place. Let's do the same again. Let's get the sky blue. So, again, you can see there's lots of various blues if you go down, if you zoom in this detail. We'll just pick that one for now. Use that as our basis color. Cool, that's good. Those are my main three colors that I want in my color palette. So that's cool, cooler, you might say. Now what I want to get a, I want to sort of, a, I don't want a pure white. I want a kind of an off-white. Oh, I've not locked it. Damn. Sorry. Let's do that again. It's Google Boy error. So 
we go. That's locked. And it's not locked, my tangerine. Uh, what's going on? You have to click the lock button twice. I'll let them off because it's such a good app. Right, so now I want to cycle through. I want a, I want a nice white colour, but I don't want it too white. I want it kind of just an off-white with a tangerine hue. So what I tend to do is I'll just cycle through till I see one that I like. So this is te this is going to be the text that's going to go on top of the images, which we'll do in a later video. Yeah, that's okay. Let's have a look at that. Make it a tad brighter. If you can see there, it's got ever so slight tangerine saturation, which is what I wanted. This has got to be used for text, so it's got to you've got to have a good contrast when text is going on top of there. So yeah, I think I think I'm happy with that. Let's get PD white smoke. Which one is my email? It's annoying. Okay, that's good. Now I want a uh, a black colour. Again, I don't want it pure black. I want um, a nice softer black. Ah, oh, I've not saved it. Oh. Let that be a lesson to you viewers. <laughs> don't do as I do. Do as I say, don't do as I do. Well, I'll have to get this white back. Let's wait till it comes to a... In fact, I quite like that black, so I'm going to keep that. Yep, so that's locked in place. So we now just need an off-white bone. Nah, too dark. Want one with a hue. Right, white. I think that name did exactly what it said on the tin, didn't it? Come on, give me an orangey hue one. Right, let's try this one then. What we're going to do next time we see an orange one come in. Mind you, with a sort of a smoky blue, might not be too bad. Right, so let's see if we can create one from here. Yeah, there you go. Did that the wrong way, really. Let's take the saturation down. So there you've got pure white. Let's bring it up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, floral white. That'll do. Lock it in. Right, that's our colour scheme done. Now, if you want to fine tune, which I do, I want to make sure these blues are fully kind of representative of what. I don't want to get rid of that stupid. So, is that blue. Yeah, they're okay. Right. There's our palette. Colour scheme, whatever you want to call it. So, now this is a, the real kicker with Cooler. If you click click the export button there, you've got all these uh, export options. So, if you if you want to use a PDF, say, so if you want to say it, send it to someone, a stakeholder, for example, you say, right, what do you think of this colour scheme? You can send it in a PDF document, which is the kind of the best way to send stuff over also if you notice you've got your hex code your rgb um all the all the variations on the color so you can hand it over if you're a designer you want to hand it over to a web designer for example or a developer you say use these codes which is really handy so what we're going to do we'll save this save as you know i save everything in my icloud so that's my project folder i've already created a color theme folder there and in true blue peter style i have actually already created the files so we're going to call this S-Pod, Spod Palette. So it's as podcast, the name of my project. So we're going to call it spodpalette.pdf. As I've already created the file there. So that's done. Go back to the tab. Export again. PNG. I'll save mid-jazz. 
Uh, it's the PNG one there, yeah. When you do this yourself, obviously you won't have these created. You have to create it from scratch to save a bit of time. I've created the dummy files. Now that's going to be used in the sketch file, which I'm just going to show you very briefly in a minute. Uh, finally, just one more thing I want to show you is the export option for uh, a SAS file. This is a CSS file used in um, web page development. Really handy, this. Really handy. So again, that's created a palette file there called palette.css. So let's copy that. Put it in our color theme folder. I've called it SPOD palette, but there you go. You get the idea. So we've got that. Really good. So you can hand that straight to a web dev and they can start using the color scheme straight away. Let's bring it, let's just open it quickly in uh, VS Code. Let's bring it over. There it is. That's your color scheme, your color variables. Um, even does it in HSLA, so you can you can use opacity values on there. So RGB, which is fantastic, saves a lot of time. That and finally, I just want to show you how we use that GIF, so the PNG in a project. So this is Sketch. These are the color blocks that I want to use in the palette. I want to use the color palette. So what I tend to do, I will just bring that in. So you drag it into Sketch. There it is. There it was. Where's it gone? There needs to come to the front. Get to the front. Let's put it in there. Now oh, it needs an artboard. It's an artboard. I just got a little plugin issue. Where's artboard? There we go. So now, we, so we want to use these colors, which is pretty easy. You go there, color. Select the sketches color picker and you hover over the orange. There you go. There's the color in use. Let's just move this across. You can see it. So I want you to do I want that one in this blue. And I want this one in this blue. And so on. I won't do them all. Right, there you go. That's how to create a colour scheme, a colour palette for your design project. And all the great options. It's got the PDF, it's got the SAS file, it's got the PNGs, it's even got um what else it's got? It's got another option. I don't work for them or anything, it's just a really good tool. The SVG, I don't know what this is, Copic a URL, I presume that's to share it, I think. I don't know. But anyway. Coolers.co, great tool. That's how you use it to create a core scheme, that's how I use it. Uh hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and uh any comments in the video? Comments in the video below.